Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use external images as a reference uh, to create AI art in mid-journey Discord bot. So basically I have an example here. Basically I put an absolute URL to the image, in this case one for Pixabay. After that I write text and then after that at the end I write dash dash IW, which means image weight, and then a number. The default one is 0 0.25, but I can increase it or decrease it. What this means is this is how much weight will be given to the image, right, compared to the tax. So the higher the number, the more Bjourney will use to have the image impact the final result. If you want less impact, you're going to reduce this number. Now, for me, one of the best uh, reasons to use it, because sometimes I have something that I like as an image, but it's very hard to describe. And if I describe it, I don't usually get what I want to. So when I get a reference to the image, I can create something that looks similar to the image in a way. Keep in mind, it doesn't start as a, the image as a starting point. It won't build upon that image. It just uses uh, those uh, visual hints as a reference, all right? So again, it won't build upon the original image. So uh, so this is one example. For example, I have this image and uh, I'm gonna show you the image now in uh, how it looks, the original image that I used. Uh, by the way, Midjourney will replace the image with this link. So basically when you put a link to the image, it's gonna upload it to this, to this link. So cute octopus image weight two. And here you can see one of the images that are rendered in higher resolution. See the octopus, the eye and the colors. Now, of course, it all depends on the image, the weight and the description. So all together, and this is why you can actually get some really interesting results when you combine things, especially things that maybe are too complicated, complex to describe. If you can use it as a reference point, give it more weight and combine it with some other things. Um, this is actually where you get some things that are really, really interesting and unique that will be probably very hard or in some cases maybe impossible, at least in my case, to actually get it with just describing it in text. Right, uh, this is another one, cute little cats. I got different variations here, all right? As you can see, beautiful and artistic. So what image I use here? This is the image that I use. And I use, by the way, here, little weight. You see, 0 0.5, slightly more than the default one. Let's check out another one, robot portrait. And I'm just trying to just type in simple words, keywords, you know, not to complicate things, All right? And I gave the image, uh, image weight three, and this is the image that I use for it. All right, you're gonna go down. This is the higher resolution one. Here I use an image. Here I wanna show you that I, if I use an image of a woman, and uh, you can see that it's used it as a reference rather than actually uh, making something that is a copy of the original and built from it, right? So from that particular image up, no, it's actually used as a reference and brings some things that uh, from the data set and uh, it leads to really nice results, right? Uh, this is another one. Here you can see, by the way, the image weight is five. Here the image uh, is one. So we give more to the words and here I give more to the actual image. It was imported. Now my recommendation is just go and experiment with it. Keep in mind that uh, it's all about just trying different things and what works best for your art. The good thing is for me, that if I bring a reference, sometimes you know it's easier for me to create a certain thing that otherwise describing it just would be very hard and many times I won't get what I want. Uh, another thing is, but I realized that when I bring images, for example, portraits, uh, and 
usually, you know, in this in mid journey, there are many cases where you get things that appear off when it comes to facial uh, features. Like the nose can be like, I don't know, sometimes right shaft and the mouth is not symmetrical and the eyes can look this way and the other way, this way. You can get some really distorted stuff. But when I brought images, it actually looked uh, much better. Just saying. So maybe it can help kind of solve the issues until they work on their algorithms to improve uh, those facial features to look, well, relatively normal compared to uh, what we get right now. And because this is why sometimes I need to fix it in Photoshop because it just generates something that is, well, in terms of what I want to achieve, it's not acceptable. Uh, again, just go, try it out. It's amazing and really fun. And again, just a few demonstrations here. Of course, you can play with the aspect ratio, add other artistic styles, mix it with words. There's so many things you can do, but it's a great feature. So don't forget uh, to try it out and uh, have fun. I see you on the next one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. See you. Cheers.